The last kind of visualization I want to show you under the general rubric of scatter plots really isn't a scatter plot at all, but it is a way of showing the association between several different variables. It's something called a parallel coordinates plot. And it's this one right here. And you can think of a parallel coordinates plot as sort of making linear the connections between variables. For this one, I'm going to use the same movie data. But I have an interesting thing here. Now while there's just two boxes, I can put several dimensions in the first one. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pick the production budget of a movie, because that's the first thing that comes in a movie is how much they spend. And then I'll get the rating on IMDB and put that beneath it. And you can see though it's showing up right here. And then I'm gonna get the total domestic box office and drag that in one more. There we go. And then just for fun, I can change the color of the connections between these. I'll use genre. I'll bring that over, put that here under color. And now what I have is sort of this complicated yarn looking thing. But what it does is it shows each variable on its own line and it makes the scales of each of them similar. So this one is the production budget and it got cut off a little bit. But here are the IMDB ratings we can see go from four and a half to nine. And here are the total box office earnings. And this is a neat way of showing the connections between several different variables. You probably want to label them as well, which we're not able to do right here. But you can see that, for instance, that the ones that are really high on IMDb did not necessarily have the highest production budget. Most of them were down here. This is Avatar up here, which kind of blew more money than everything else, although it earned a lot of money back. And so, you can throw in more than the three variables. If you have a bunch, you can put them all in there and it can be neat to follow the line of one data point going across each of these axes, even though the axes are all parallel. And that's one of the advantages to the parallel coordinate plot.